Ya. Eh? <laughs> Mambo vipi watu wangu? Ningo yogo tie mecha te. Ah, uh, I want to take this opportunity uh, to thank each and every one of you. My brother, my sister, my supporter, my fan, my follower. I want to let you know that mimi nakupenda sana sana. And don't imagine that I don't know what you mean to my life. I know what you mean to my life. Thank you for making me one of the most celebrated, you know, musicians from Gusi Land. Thank you for making me one of the greatest youth leaders from this region. And thank you always for embracing HRT generation, HRT initiatives, you know, HRT missions, HRT ambitions, and everything. Thank you for branding your shops under my name. Thank you for branding your vehicles, your matatus, your border borders, and everything under my name. That means a lot to me as a person. And that means that uh, I have a role to play in this community. And that's why I am not shying off and I'm not fearing, you know, uh, from following my dreams and my dream that we call share you and I. Because everybody who knows HRT knows that HRT loves children, knows that HRT protects, you know, the, the, the children of our community, knows that HRT wants a peaceful coexistence within our families, knows that HRT wants a progressive community, and knows that HRT means good for everybody, including those who pretend to be my enemies. Actually, I have always believed that uh, things happen or things go wrong uh, because good people don't talk. And I am not one of those people who is not gonna talk. I was born brave, my father and mother passed on and left a brave young person who's going to push this community to the next level. Anyway, why did I decide to do this video? I want to remind you that uh, the One Uniform Initiative is ongoing. It's a continuous thing, it's a continuous initiative. It's not gonna stop. We have already dressed up to almost 200 children right now and uh, next week we were supposed to move to south mongrango actually we have uniforms ready uh, but because of a very special request from the dazzling center for autism we will give them a priority and i'm so excited because we'll be the first to do uniforms for these children meaning they have been coming to school in civilians but they are going now to begin and the one uniform initiative will be the first the mother of their uniform and it's going to be one of the best you know one of a kind uniform uh, for these wonderful children you know who live with or you know autism in our community you know when i visited this wonderful wonderful kids when i visited you know, the beautiful and the handsome boys at Dazzling Center for Autism in Kisi. I actually realized that they not only need uniforms, they need a lot more, a lot more. They need, you know, more reading tables. And I want to say that uh, I'm happy that Dubris has already begun mobilizing and setting aside a number of reading tables for the wonderful babies at uh, the Dazzling Center for uh, Autism. They actually need utensils uh, because they, 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 they have their meals at school. These kids need playing materials. They need toys. They need bicycles. And I know majority of you, my friends, you have uh, bicycles that have been outgrown by your children you have toys that have been that have been outgrown and you think that those are useless things they're not useless there is a baby there is a kid somewhere who needs them lastly i won't forget to remind all of our parents who by any chance have autistic kids within their homes kindly don't hide those children don't be killed by the stigma autism is a manageable condition Bring out those babies, bring them to the public, 
bring them to the dazzling center for autism in kc and you know they'll get the best